I'm Claire Malcolmson. I'm the executive director of the Rescue Lake Simcoe Coalition. One of the issues um, that we've been trying to address in the last year is helping elected officials understand the relationship between growth planning and climate change and impacts on water. Um, at Lake Simcoe, we have a pretty delicate ecosystem and growth is definitely harming it. One of the issues that's come to light fairly recently is that we're on a trajectory to exceed um, a toxic level of salt in this freshwater lake in 37 years. So one of the challenges I think we have before us is how can we make better use of our existing road networks and not build more and more and more road networks, especially in sensitive places, uh, going over water courses and into wetlands. Um, this would help both protect the very natural features that help protect us uh, from climate change impacts and also reduce costs for municipalities and taxpayers uh, as the extension of our road networks and the maintenance of those road networks is very expensive over time. And of course, it would mean that we don't keep on increasing the amount of salt that is applied to an increasing number of roads. So I think this is an idea whose, whose time has come and it would be really interesting to hear what planners think about that logic. You know, what are we gonna do? Are we just gonna have toxic like Simcoe because we couldn't be bothered to think about the science that we know right now uh, and plan accordingly? You know, I don't think anyone's gonna be very proud if that's the end result. So it's a challenge, over to you.